Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So guys, I realized that the DAI did a video on this a couple days ago, MasterCard takes on Visa in Tussle over Earthport. And so as we know, Visa has made uh, an attempt to acquire Earthport. MasterCard has opened up a turf war with rival scheme Visa over the acquisition of cross-border payment firm Earthport. And we know Earthport is currently tied to Ripple. And so they posted a 233 million pound cash offer for the UK firm. Um, and as you know, a couple of months ago, Visa made a surprise 198 million pound offer for Earthport over the festive season, an offer which was recommended by the company's board and put to shareholders. And so Visa and MasterCard, the two biggest credit card companies on this planet, are kind of fighting it out over this company Earthport that we know has ties to Ripple and the ability to settle transactions instantly using XRP. And so these companies are really seeing the value in instant settlement. It brought me to this article uh, that I just saw today, exclusive that MoneyGram exploring options, including a potential sale and so MoneyGram has come upon some rough times apparently the company isn't doing too well MoneyGram International Inc is exploring strategic alternatives including a sale of the money transfer company a year after a US government panel nixed its 1.2 billion dollar sale to China's Ant Financial so the Chinese company Ant Financial was looking to purchase MoneyGram um, but they did not succeed because of the US government and so this just kind of goes on about the deal that was uh, trying to be made um, and it just reminded me of a video I did when I first started this channel so this was the very first video I did here um, but it was one two three four five six videos in this one here with the guy getting punched in the face I titled it will ripple deliver the death blow to MoneyGram and Western Union uh, from seven months ago it only got 825 views but I'll link it in the description uh, this video is kind of an updated version of that video because after seeing this article about MoneyGram uh, which was just published on January 25th it got me thinking back to my video that I did seven months ago and basically how companies like MoneyGram and Western Union should really be scared and to think that they're doing uh, so poorly MoneyGram that they are looking to just sell the company just got me thinking about the digital asset that we're invested in XRP that has the ability to settle instantly and again at that time I talked about this video here where Ashton Kutcher uh, went on the Ellen DeGeneres show and and transferred four million dollars USD to Rwandan francs for Ellen's charity and it looked like he was doing this on his phone here so um, you can see the screen grab up here this is of Ashton's phone and as you can see here he's he's donating this to Ellen it was a big surprise and he's just like Ellen push the button here on my phone and you will see that the money will be transferred and so Ellen pushes the button and of course the let's see where is it here the transfer goes through payment sent and so whatever application Ashton Kutcher here has on his phone runs on Ripple it says that here on the screen here and it just got me thinking you know are companies like this floundering and that's how I presented it in the video I did seven months ago my prediction was companies like this are going to cease to exist because of this Ripple technology. Why can't Ripple just put out an app that links to your bank account, essentially, and transfers funds for you using XRP at a fraction of the cost at what these companies here are charging people to do the same kinds of transactions? And you're probably thinking, you know, there are apps that do that. So I Googled Powered by Ripple Money Transferred app, and of course, you know, comes up Santander's app that they, Santander UK launches Ripple XRP powered money transfer app today uh, that was in April 2018 and that is the one pay FX application that Santander Bank uses um, another one here Ripple powered payments app becomes first blockchain app in South Korea and I believe it's called cross and so in South Korea Ripple has an app here that essentially allows you to do that as well another article here from Ripple's own website Ripple powered mobile app to provide on-demand domestic payments in Japan and so guys we are seeing this in other countries where the regulatory clarity has already gone through namely in Asia with Korea and Japan Santander Bank as well and so this this vision here is becoming closer to reality and so I'm wondering if Ripple has something brewing behind the scenes where they will release an application of course this is just pure speculation this is just my mind kind of going and I just wanted to share this with you guys a lot of you guys probably didn't even know about the channel seven months ago when I first started up I am now on the precipice of 15,000 subscribers I'm at 14,998 subscribers so thank you guys 
Just wanted to say that as a side note. And yeah, I just wanted to address this again. Once regulatory clarity occurs in the United States, does Ripple have an application like this ready and set to go behind the scenes so that everyday Americans can send payments instantly from their smartphones at the tap of a button? I love ideas like these, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.